Well, I wanted to take a minute to walk you through the new version Veeam 12 and some of the really cool features that are here now that are based specifically to use object storage. Uh, I've created some normal backups in here, and you can see that there are some disk backups as well as stuff sitting in the object. But let me show you the cool stuff. If we scroll up down into the infrastructure itself and we look at the backup repositories, <clears throat> here's various cloudings. These are all S3s. There's the default repository that comes with it. And I created a couple of NAS uh, NFS mounts that I just wanted to have just to show you what was here. Okay, if we go and look at the first piece that's here, let's look at the only sober that I built. It's called multi-bucket. There are three individual buckets, but they are designed to go into this individual sober. You'll notice there's no performance tier in here. These are all just individual buckets that are sitting out in S3 object storage, which is very cool. So now let's go back up to home. If we take a look at one of these individual jobs, and before I show you the sober, I'll show you what a job looks like now. I'm gonna right click and edit this. This is gonna bring up our job. Here's our virtual machines telling us what we're gonna drop into this particular backup. Here's our storage. This is where it gets really cool. Now, backup repository. Look at the choices I have. You notice that this is an S3. Bingo, writing direct to object storage. Here's all my choices. Look at those individual Cloudium buckets that are there. They give us an option to go direct to object storage. No hop, no skip, no jump. Right to object storage from there. Okay, and we'll leave this as we found it. I can set my retention policy as I normally would, okay? Underneath advanced, now if I go over to storage and then look at my storage optimization, it's different now. It gives me the actual sizing that I want to use. Obviously, the larger within object storage, the better it is. But now, by even default, they recommend one meg size, which is going to help millions of times better than what was being written before in earlier versions, which were billions and billions of little tiny objects. So this is good stuff, okay? Really good stuff. So we'll cancel that. So our proxy is gonna pick automatically as usual. Pick any repository we want. Doesn't have to be a sober. I can go direct to a bucket, which of course you just saw me do. Um, other processes are still the same. Okay, scheduling is very much the same. And summary of what we're doing, same. Okay, huge difference. Now, let's take a look down here if we want to go into, excuse me, backup infrastructure. And I'm going to right mouse click on this so I can look at the properties of this particular sober. Performance tier, there you go. Multiple buckets right in the performance tier. Capacity tier. I don't even have anything in it. Doesn't matter because it's going to split it up amongst and balance it between those three buckets. That's beautiful. Okay. Now, the other piece that we want to look at too is if we go back and look at these backup repositories, take a look at two that I've called lock, and those are immutables. Okay. So if we go to home and then let's go look at our backups, and I've named them appropriately lock. Okay, so let's go down in here. You see this is the AD controller for lock. So let's go into object storage. There's the one for lock. And you notice it wrote directly to this. So I'm gonna right mouse click this and delete it from disk. I wish this is where I had some Jeopardy music, you know, so we could play some of that. Nope, oh, there's my errors. Bingo. Because it's immutable until the 20th of January is why it won't delete. So it failed to delete the backup. So my immutability is there via writing directly to that object bucket on the Cloudian. No hop, skip, jump, as I said before, directly to object storage. 
This is a game changer, folks. We no longer have to have something like a Nimble, a NetApp, an EMC product, anything that sits out there. The customer could literally purchase Veeam, purchase a Cloudian appliance cluster, and they are in business for backups with immutable storage in that backup from day one. Plain, simple, nothing more. The restores work just as well as if they're coming back off of something like a NetApp or a Nimble. Great stuff. I wanted you all to get a chance to see this. That's just how simple it runs. Thanks so much for watching and take care.